G'day guys, West Front Sealed. Um, next little part of our 12 volt guide is joining two separate wires together. So obviously we've looked at now the soldering part. We've looked at how to use heat shrink. Now the important bit is how to join two wires properly. Um, a little tip, I'm gonna show you how NASA does it just to get really carried away, which is actually a really good way to do it anyway in the way I usually go. So without any further ado, let's talk about joining some wires together. Righto guys, so we've got two wires that are joined together, soldering iron's heating up, we've got a bit of heat shrink here, a bit of solder, so what we want to do is break off or cut off uh, probably about that much insulation. Alright. Which gives us a really, really good starting point. Okay, now according to the NASA specifications, you are supposed to tin this wire first. When you're using multi-core, multi-strand wire, it makes it really, really hard and quite a pain in the backside. So, what we're going to do, as you'll read in the in the uh, in the article, is put a bend, uh, 90 degree bend, probably just shy of halfway down each. All right, hook them together, give them a little bend over like this. Then what you want to do is grab one side and wrap it around on itself, just like that. So you've got one wire that looks like that. Try and get those little ends nice and tight. And then with the other one, do exactly the same thing. Doesn't matter which way you go, just so long as it wraps back around on itself, right? Something I probably should have said is I put the heat, I haven't put the heat shrink on yet, which is okay because we've got a piece of wire that hasn't got ends. But that is what our join should look like. Okay, so she's wrapped up three times around each side. Once you've done that, Bring the soldering iron over to the join. Let it sit just nicely on there. And then start very, very carefully to add a little bit of solder. And you'll see that solder is straight away grabbing onto that wire. Be mindful of those, that smoke coming off, guys. It is carcinogenic. It's not good for you. And once you've done that, Take away your soldering iron. Soldering iron comes off first, uh, sorry, yeah, solder comes off first and then you take the heat away, otherwise you'll have solder stuck to it, which is not fun. It's a bit of a pain in the bum to be entirely honest. And there we have a beautifully joined wire, which is exceptionally bloody strong. Okay, that's not going anywhere. And so we've got obviously a mechanical connection in that we've wrapped the wires around each other in a little knot. We've also got an electrical connection in that we've soldered it, so there should be zero resistance through that whole joint. All right, from there, the heat shrink we absolutely put on before we close the wires and solder them together. We'll just slide down there, over that. Let's turn this soldering iron off, we're not wasting gas. All right, so we work out about halfway. Lighter underneath. Heat up one side. Just Make sure you keep moving, you don't hold it in one spot or it will catch on fire. And not too close, not like I just did. And guess what? You now have a beautifully soldered joint. All right, and it is done properly. We could have even gone a touch smaller on the heat shrink there. You see we've closed it up and it's not quite tight on the wire, but for what we're doing today, that is actually not bad.